Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and the Light Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my cancers who are watching. So if you have cancer as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So cancer, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and begin and get started here, Cancer, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign, so it may or may not resonate for you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally, Cancer. But without further ado here, let's go ahead and officially begin with your reading and your energy. Alright, let's see what we have going on for Cancer, please, when it comes to love at this time. Who's this person? Alright, Cancer, let's go ahead and take that first message that came out. But we do have, I only have enough love for one person. I want you to be the one to receive it all. So I'll refer back to that message if needed, but let's take the one that came out first. Let's see what else we need to know for Cancer as far as specific message, messages and energies between Cancer and this person. All right, once again, two cards came out. Let's read this as an extra. You are divine, Cancer. So we have four messages. How does this person truly feel about cancer, please? What are their true feelings and emotions here? One more message for cancer. Okay, cancer. So let's go ahead and see what we have all together. You will soon find out everything. You will soon find out everything. I'll be serious once this becomes realistic. If you ever gave me another chance, I'd never screw it up. Let's clear this up before we get lost. You are a dream and I'm not trying to wake up. And last but not least for now, we have, it's like you're the one I've been waiting on this whole time. So Cancer, I feel like this is regarding someone you already know here. Um, someone who didn't realize how much of a blessing you are or how much you deserve, Cancer. So with that being said, they may have taken you for granted or just gave you less than you you truly deserve, Cancer. And I feel like if that resonates with you or you feeling like you were being taken for granted, Cancer, you didn't want to believe that you felt that way. You were hoping f for more from this person, Cancer. But I feel like it was an energy of things unfolding right in front of your eyes. And that extra message, I only have enough love for one person. I want you to be the one to receive it all. I feel like that was your energy going straight towards this person. So when it came to a level of comparison, I'm doing this, that, and the third for this person. And this person, for example, gives me backhanded compliments. Like, I don't. I don't deserve that. I don't need that in my life. And as much as I want this to be, it's not what that is. So I have to let go. I have to detach. So I feel like you pulled away your energy cancer and you're serious about it. And this person knows that you're serious cancer because your energy isn't there. You don't treat them the same. But it's like in a way giving this person a taste of their own medicine not being malicious about it but I see how you've treated me and I let it go past me but this time I'm serious here so let's go ahead and get into our first message first let's start with your dream and I'm not trying to wake up I do feel like this is your energy cancer thinking about what could be thinking about the good moments that you two did have with one another but you can't stay in that dream. You're, you're viewing things as they unfold in reality here. So you're not viewing things through rose-colored lenses, Cancer. So you were a dream and I'm not trying to wake up. And perhaps for some time, you were just letting things be for 
forgiven or you were just letting things unfold but then you have to wake up or snap out of it here because your feelings and emotions matter as well so you are a dream and i'm not trying to wake up <clears throat> excuse me we also have you'll soon find out everything i feel like this is your energy cancer when things were exposed to you or when you put the pieces together so you will soon find out everything and once you found out everything cancer i'll be serious once this becomes realistic i see clearer now and i know that i'm doing too much for you i know that my intentions may not match yours here so let me retract my energy up until i feel more safe and more guaranteed that i will be okay in this so i'll be serious once this becomes realistic if you ever gave me another chance, I'd never screw it up. This person's energy cancer, your silence is loud, and they feel the absence of your presence here. And I do feel like they know what they could have done better, how they could have stepped up, how they could have shown more love and appreciation for you. Let's clear this up before we get lost. You may be giving this person some time or... Yeah, sometimes to correct some things, to get it together. For some of my cancers, you may feel like you're only sorry because I caught on to this, because I paid attention, because I recognize this within you. So let's clear this up before we get lost. If you really want to make things right with me, then you know what to do. But I'm not going to beg you. I'm not going to pressure, remind you, or chase you about this. But this person may also feel like time is running out here, Cancer, because... Once again, your energy is not the same. And it's like you're the one I've been waiting on this whole time. I do feel like this is this person's energy cancer. They may have felt like you were going to be there for them 24-7 or all the time, regardless of how they treated you, cancer. But I do feel like when it comes to you being a lover or a partner to them, there's nothing more that they could ask for cancer. And of course, it's up to you to decipher if you could trust this person, if you could accept this person into your life. Because even though they accept everything about you, Cancer, and they love everything you do for them, the type of lover you are, some people will still take that for granted. But let's go ahead and see what else we have going on for Cancer, please. All right. One more message, please, for Cancer. All right, so we have, I'm willing to start fresh if you are. I'm willing to start fresh if you are. I always think of the perfect thing to say to you. I want to please you. Then we have, you make me smile more than I'm used to. That's my love coming out. I will treat you like royalty. And last but not least, we have, I'm not trying to guess how you feel about me. So yeah, Cancer, like that card says, it's like you're not trying to play that guessing game with this person. I feel like they would, in a way, lead you on, Cancer. They would show you attention, and then you liked it. You got used to it, and then once you got used to it, they pulled away, and it wasn't fair to you. So it's like I'm tired of carefully trying to accommodate you in this connection here when I don't get that same respect. I always think of the perfect thing to say to you. I want to please you. I do feel like this is your energy, Cancer. It could have been a moment in time or an energy for some of my Cancers where you felt like you were walking on eggshells around this person. And nothing was wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. But that could have been the type of attitude that they, they maintained here. So just trying to keep this cool, calm, and collected. And then let's get into I'm not trying to guess how you feel about me. Your energy cancer. I can't read your mind. I can't just cater to you when you don't give me anything to work with. So I'm not trying to guess how you feel about me. Also, if your body language is off, if your actions don't match your words, then how can I really believe you? You make me smile more than I'm used to. That's my love coming out. I do feel like this person had this energy cancer. And there could have been some core moments that you felt like you shared with this person where you saw a different side of them. But then they reverted back into the, the harder exterior or harder exterior type of person. 
but I'm willing to start fresh if you are this person's energy cancer could be your energy as well cancer if you if you are open to working things out if things are going to be different and I will treat you like royalty I feel like this is the energy that you've brought to this person into this connection but once again their energy and trying to be better towards you do more for you and make an effort to show that this really does matter or you really do you really do matter to them cancer as far as signs we do have aquarius for cancer aquarius as well as aries one more sign please for my cancers and that is scorpio but of course cancer any sign may be relevant here but as always i appreciate the love and support please like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you next time bye